Rome, the inevitable conqueror of the world, the inevitable conqueror of the thrones of Britannia. Well, Rome in this sense is coming to the thrones of Britannia in a fantastic mod called Caesar in Britannia, which is a bit of a misnomer, but at the same time, there's a lot of Britannias and there's a lot of Romans. So let's go it through this way. I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of what is coming to this mod. There's a fantastic patch coming out very soon and I've been given access to the old, you know, beta. But in this, what I've already played is more than enough for you to boot up Thrones of Britannia when it's fully released and you can play the campaign. The campaign is still a work in progress. There is still a huge amount of work to be done and really work hasn't started on it yet. But what has started is the development of the finishing of the Roman rosters and the Britannic tribes. And let me tell you one thing. People think that the Roman conquest of Britain was like a walkover. It really wasn't. The Britons did give the Romans a tough resistance. Even after the Romans ruled Britain, they faced revolts, they faced all sorts. And during the time of the collapse of the late Roman Empire, there were many generals that, that basically tried to become generals of their own or usurp Britain. And it was this region where Constantine was declared the Emperor of Rome where he would one day convert it to Christianity, right? So what you're seeing here is a battle between, I believe, the Iceni and the Romans. But there's a lot of unit rosters, and this is still a work in progress. What I'm showing you is my most cinematic attempt to make it look worthwhile, and it is worthwhile. Because this mod feels like I'm playing an, an extension of Rome Total War, in every sense, shape, size, and form. And let me tell you something, Thrones of Britannia is an underrated title. I think Thrones was really undervalued. I do think that Thrones had many good elements. And you can obviously see that this type of overhaul mod setting is something I would like to see come for Pharaoh. Because I think Pharaoh also will become sort of underappreciated in a way, but it will have a mod like this one day in the future. Think Caesar in Egypt, right? Now, imagine this. Imagine you are playing as the Romans and the amount of difficulty that you're gonna face fighting all of these Britannic tribes. It is not going to be easy. It's going to be Caesar and Gaul, but fighting the Britannic tribes will not be an easy thing to do. You will lose more men than you anticipate. You will need to keep, you know, logistics, supplies, mechanics, and so much more. And obviously I tried to get into this big epic box formation, and it was not easy, because the Britannic tribes then sent out the chariots. And I don't know the, about the impact of chariots, because this is still, as I will say, a early work build in progress. So everything they've seen here is not the final product. Because there's so much work being done here, you guys won't even know about it. In fact, let me put a couple of screenshots up below so that you get an idea of what's gonna be coming in the future. The plan is this, is to release a mod for multiplayer battles with different scenarios. You know, you'll be having campaign releases. There's also talk of having a late Roman Western Empire scenario. But currently this is, I believe, being developed by two hardworking modders and a lot more better testers. And the mod is already a huge amount of work being done. But the addition of scenario battles, this mod is going to be like an NTW3 multiplayer style of mod. Single player content will come. There's also the Welsh tribes that are also been added. And you can definitely see there's a huge amount of work here. And obviously this is... You can see all these soldiers, they look so great. Battlefields where the players will choose the objectives and you have LOC, NTW3 star multiplayer battles. So if you guys want to play Thrones of Britannia, and I know Pope does it, Joe Onnit does it, and for those YouTubers in the Total War community, why not consider doing some multiplayer battles with the addition of new maps? You know, there's a lot of work being done here. There's a new UI, new units, honestly, this feels like Rome 2 in so many ways. It just feels like I'm playing Rome 2, but just a more expanded DLC. That's, that's what I would call this DLC, really, if I'm rather honest with you. I would call it that way. And you can see that there is already work being done on the new units, new unit designs. There's a huge amount of work already being done. I mean, how much more do you want me to show? Because if you join the Discord of Caesar and Britannia, 
you are going to be updated with a huge amount of progress. Plus, there's also a patch coming that is going to literally transform the mod, give it all new units, new battle systems, and you literally are going to get something that is on the verge of ambitious. I would say that this is one of the most ambitious mods for Total War. Because we're not just talking about a simple battle replacement. We're talking about the fact that we're having an ancient style of Napoleonic 3 multiplayer. We are literally having our own Dividend Imperial multiplayer. This is a multiplayer mod, but with the single player element, you will have more of a campaign. You will have logistics. You will have all of that. In fact, you can see the battle map here. This really does reflect, I think they went into Rome 1, they copied some of the battle maps, the developers of, let's say, Thrones of Britannia, and then you can obviously see that some of the sieges are absolutely suited, and why there was never a Roman expansion considered for this, like you had Caesar in Gaul, for example, but no Caesar in Britannia, is beyond me. I really do think that they could have done more with Thrones of Britannia. It's... An underrated game it has definitely new mechanics and Thrones of Britannia is really the last historical like really true historical game I would say Pharaoh is definitely historical to a degree but that's my take on it for now the main element is is that the modders want to show what historical battles were fought in this time period you know I read a story where these Batavian legionaries that landed in Britain, they tried to engage these Britain tribes as much as they could, but they couldn't because the Britons were more experts of guerrilla warfare than anything else. Plus, they are also working, that is the modders, to ensure that custom battles are worth playing and creating scenarios for players to play. So I can definitely see Joe or Pope organizing a scenario where you can play the Romans versus the Britons, and I really do think there's going to be a lot of diversity. You won't just be fighting Britons, you'll be fighting the Welsh, you'll be fighting the Irish, you'll be fighting the Scottish, right? You will be fighting all of these battles. You will be fighting so much. Basically, let's have a roadmap. Let's say that the roadmap is first the development of the battles, then the development of campaign, but also the development of custom maps and scripted battles those are going to come in the future it's going to take a long time but right now we are going to have to wait and honestly and honestly the caesar campaign really sets good because you have the romans as invaders so imagine them as the normans in 1066 or something but the britons will defend they will make ambushes and the Romans have to use Dividate and Para diplomacy to use tribes at their advantages, putting them against each other. And then they will look at the next invasions of Britannia. They are also considering, as I've said, the Western Roman Empire, because I think that would be a brilliant, brilliant DLC or scenario to do. I really do think that the withdrawal of the Roman army from Britain is an excellent setting for Thrones of Britannia. And I really do hope that they do this in the future. This is why I'm getting excited. It's all thanks to the modders that are working really, really hard. And it's also thanks to Terminator. Because of him, I would not know about this video. About Caesar and Britannia. I would not be making this video. I saw this video a couple of times. I saw it. And I said, okay, that's good. But then when I played the actual mod, I was like, wow. This mod has so much potential. There is one thing that I would say though. When you play a night battle... Your archers can't fire fire arrows, so I want to see something being done on that. But there is a lot of work with custom maps being made. I don't want to reveal anything, because to be honest with you, just wait and watch. There's going to be a first custom map, I believe. That's going to come out soon. We're going to be getting it. But the next patch is going to be absolutely epic. I won't say when it is, but when it does come, it's going to be epic. There's going to be lots of changes to the battles. There's going to be a lot of changes to so many things. In fact, I want more Rome 2 mods in this. I want I want a season Egypt mod right now. Are you kidding me? Don't I want more of this stuff? This is what makes Total Replayable. So CA makes something like this. 
and to the modders you've done an absolutely fantastic job and i cannot wait to preview the new stuff that you guys are going to show out there you guys have done an excellent excellent job i hope i have done justice in showing this mod to the total war community who are always interested in great new mods so that's it please don't forget to leave a like share comment and subscribe i shall see you in the next video stay tuned